Hello everyone, it's Alora. Today we are going to be doing a plan with me for the month of August, specifically the first week of August. The focus here is going to be on how I managed to accomplish everything since I am working full time and trying to run a blog and also do some side writing projects. For this video I'm going to be using this absolutely gorgeous pink marbled planner kit from That Planner Girl. I absolutely love her kits. So here are some closer looks at each page. There are five pages in this kit. For me, this kit really exemplifies my life aesthetic. It's, it's really beautiful. If you're interested in purchasing this kit, her Etsy link is down below. Throughout the video, I'm also going to use several stickers from this motley assembly of stickers and some washi tape. I didn't actually end up using this washi tape, but what I typically do with one kit is I'll use it for two weeks. So the first week I'll use a lot of the bigger pieces, and then the second week I will sub in the washi tape. As always, I'm going to use my wonderful Erin Condren Life Planner. This is a vertical edition. I have the 18 month, and as you can see, I have my blog name, Girl Becoming right there on the front, and then my actual name on the inside. <laughs> so now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little ruler that comes with the planner, and I'm going to attempt to make some straight lines down the middle. It didn't end up being in the middle exactly, and they didn't end up being 100% straight. This isn't necessarily my forte, but I like to separate out this very first page to make all of my to-dos. So I end up having four different categories. I have life, I have blog, and then I'll get to the other categories here in a minute once I finish writing out life and blog and try to do some more lines that end up being not very straight. So we're just kind of going to sit here and watch me attempt to make lines. Maybe we'll just pretend that I was trying to make them sideways, you know, maybe that's the ticket. I have pastel planner because I am starting to make my own stickers. They're not ready yet, but I'm working on it. Um, and then I also have other writing projects as a separate category. So then as you can see, I'm writing out some tasks for the month for the blog, like plan monthly posts and write the posts, get the pictures ready for the posts, format the posts, etc. I'm also participating in Booktubeathon this year, so I have several tasks related to that, such as filming, editing, and uploading the vlog and wrap up. Moving on to life goals, I have several things that I like to do monthly, such as attend a yoga class, attend a cycle class, do my work in my Radical Self Love Almanac by Gala Darling. I love her. I have a movie planned with my long distance friend. I'm going to be doing a Freedom Food Raw Vegan two week long food challenge, the Booktubeathon. It's my birthday month, so there are some special things I'm going to treat myself, like getting my hair dyed and um, some other things. It's my mom's birthday month, so I need to get her presents, and I'm going to do a closet cleanup clean out and back up some files, do some baking, do some planning. I'm going to try to revamp my three-year plan and, you know, some other things like that. Also, there's this gorgeous French graphic novel that I want to buy, so that's also on my list. Now, I'm really excited because August is my birthday month, so I'm going to do this indoor camping thing, and I'm going to get some vegan marshmallows to make oven s'mores, going to string up some fairy lights, set up the tent in the living room, I'm going to bring all of our pillows, and set up an awesome movie. Then I have the pastel planner shop things. I have some, some tasks related to the Silhouette cutting machine and their design software. And then I also have several writing goals. Right now I'm currently working on a short story collection, so I just have some writing and editing tasks to do for that. Whew, one page down, two more to go. So the next spread we have is the monthly like month at a glance layout. And you can see that I have these post-its set up with some things that I had tentatively planned. So the very first thing that I'm just gonna go in and do is write down all of my work shifts. So you can see that's a little bit tedious and that's what I'm doing here. That's why I've got it sped up like crazy. Now, as you might notice, I work for tens, which leaves me glorious weekend openings. And I also took a little bit of time off for my birthday so I can get a five day weekend. Now I'm going to go in with my blue pen and plan out some things that are just for me. So right now I'm penning in my raw vegan challenge, the dates for that, and also the book Tubeathon. And then I'll go in and use the blue pen to write out when I'm planning on posting to the blog. Um, in my case, that is on Wednesdays and Sundays. And then I also use the blue pen for anything that I'm doing just for me. 
such as a writing group that I'm going to be involved in, which happens to fall on my birthday, and also a book club meeting that falls on my mom's birthday. Speaking of birthdays, I'm going in right now and I'm going to use some stickers to mark special birthdays. So I'll put one on my birthday, I'll put one on my mother's birthday, and I'll put one on my grandma's birthday. And then in a little bit you'll see I remembered that my cousin also has a birthday in August, so I'll add another one in a minute. <laughs> So then you'll notice that I'm going in here to mark off the time that I have off for my birthday. After that, I'll use my blue pen to mark the posts like I was talking about a moment ago on Wednesdays and Sundays. And then you'll see I also need to transcribe some things from this post-it note, such as the writing group, the book club, and we're supposed to be watching our neighbor's dog sometime in August, but I'm not 100% sure of the date, so I'm just going to leave this post-it note on the page when I'm done. I know a lot of people who plan get really into the pens they use. I personally like using these Sharpie fine point pens and then I just have a pink pen and a blue pen. I use the blue pen for things that I'm doing for myself and the pink pen to write in things that I'm doing with other people. Because those things usually come up last minute, the only thing that I have to write in here right now is my indoor camping with Isaac on the day before my birthday. And then the only other thing that I do with this month at a glance is write out my blog schedule on the right hand side. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting in the dates of the Wednesdays and the Sundays and then I'll go in later and fill in what exactly I'm planning on posting on each of those days. So for example, on the 29th of July I posted my Booktubeathon TBR video and then on August 1st I'll be posting this planning video and a blog post to go along with it. Oof, we finally made it to the week spread. Now, yellow is absolutely not my color. Blue is fine, but this looks pretty bad as it is. So I'm going to basically cover all of the colors in this um, spread. Last year I got the black and white planner, but this year I decided to go ahead and get the color planner because sometimes I'll want to use the colors and coordinate it. Um, and sometimes like today, like this week, I'm just going to use stickers to completely cover all of the colors here. So I'm taking these stickers that go along the bottom and I'm just going to apply them here. Now because I have three day weekends, my Monday is actually a day that I get off, which means it's a little bit different. I'm just going to apply some of these gorgeous marbled stickers up at the top and because I don't really have a lot going on, I'm going to use a fun little have a grateful heart sticker from this other kit. I guess this was actually just from the Erin Condren planner. And then I'm going to go in with this pastel pink open half box and write in the book Tubathon day one and write out that I'm going to be vlogging that day. So on this day I'm actually doing a 24 hour readathon and vlogging the whole experience. Skipping back down to the bottom, I'm going to use these cute little fork and knife meal stickers to plan out the meals that I'm having. And because I'm doing the Freedom Food Raw Vegan Challenge for two weeks, I actually do have pre-planned meals, so I'll just be writing them down here. For example, on this day, my breakfast is going to be the Raw Vegan Carrot Cake Breakfast Bowl. And there are the rest of the stickers, though I'm not going to take the time to write out all of my meals right now. Next I'm going in with this Heather Gray quarter box and I'm going to write down sleep and it's going to be a little habit tracker where I keep track of how many hours of sleep I get every night. This is definitely a major struggle for me. I don't get enough sleep so it's important that I keep track of it. And then after that we've got some a little book sticker and this doesn't match so it kind of kills me that it's messing up my color scheme but I'm going to write down books because I am doing the booktubeathon this week I figure I will have seven books that I'll have read so I left spaces for me to write all of those down and then what I'm writing down is my posts so I'm going to put this cute little pink heart three check mark sticker down and write down the three posts that I'm planning on making that week and I am doing an extra one because of the plan with me on the side, I'm also going to keep track of my exercise, so I've got a stationary cycle on my balcony, and I also try to do yoga daily, so I have little habit trackers for each of those. Now I'm going to go in and use these gorgeous full box marble stickers for the top box of each day in the vertical planner. Now I use these spaces to write out what I'm actually doing, like where I'm going for the day, so I'll write work events. I'll write other places that I go, like if I go out to a movie with a friend or if I go to a book club meeting, etc. I'll write that down on this top box. I also want it to be noted that I did intentionally alternate the gray and the predominantly pink boxes, just for aesthetic purposes. And then I just went in with these little marbled 
pieces to cover up that ugly mustard yellow color and I realized that I made a mistake later on when I remembered that there were today stickers so I should have put those there but instead I just put these marble ones sorry for the awkward reach that I'm doing here um, but the weekend ones I made a little bit different because I'm about to use the weekend banner which was included in the kit the reaching is just because my camera was right in front of the planner Let's chat about what I do with the other two boxes in the vertical planner. So I like to alternate my blog slash creative projects with my life <laughs> things, you know, like the daily tasks of living. So here on the bottom on Monday, I'm writing down creative, and then you'll see in a minute what I mean by alternating boxes. And there I'm just putting down a little washing machine for doing my laundry, and on Mondays I always go to Powell's Books and hang out there. Unfortunately, not every day can be a day for going to bookstores and doing 24-hour readathons or writing blogs, so here I'm just writing in my work schedule. Also in these top boxes, I like to write down my exercise, so I have these little bicycle stickers and I also have yoga stickers. I put them in when I do the exercise. I guess I have to do it now. And here I am realizing that there were today stickers in this kit and belatedly putting them on a couple of the days just to make myself feel a little better. At the same time, I realized there was a cute little exercise sticker, so I just tacked it on here. Now maybe you'll see what I mean by alternating the boxes. So now I'm putting my blog tasks in the second box instead of the third box. So I kind of just switch it back and forth. And then I'm using one of these cute little check boxes in this heather gray that's ombre there. And I'm covering up that mustard yellow color um, and writing to do and and then I'll just write my life to-dos down below once I know what they'll be. And then up here I'm using this little rent sticker because I realized that Wednesday is the first. And on Wednesday I'm making this bottom box my blog goals and so I'm going to use this little heart check mark to um, denote that. As you can see I'm just continuing to alternate the second and third boxes with my blog tasks and my life tasks. So I've got this pink little quarter box for the blog and then I'm writing in posts on the left and then putting in this pink heart check box there. Oftentimes I use these little things headers for gratitude lists but this day I'm just going to use it as a regular life list. Being 100% transparent on Friday nights after work I'm really not good for anything. So I'm going to put this little me time sticker there and then I'll write in some things that I'd like to do. Just to, you know, take care of myself. And then I'm just covering up this other space that I'm probably not going to do anything with, with another full box. And then this is a friendly reminder for both you and I that it is important to schedule in time for self-care. Moving on to the weekend, on Saturdays I always go to this little cafe near my house called Behind the Museum, so I'm going to write that in, and I'm also going to add a to-do sticker on Saturday because Saturdays are typically my most productive day, and I'm going to put these little pink heart check boxes down there also. So there I am doing that, and I'm also going to grab this cute little yoga sticker because I like to do a full hour practice on Saturdays. The only other sticker I'm going to use on Saturday is this adorable sleep-in sticker with a cute little smiling pillowcase. It's really hard to plan out my weekends before they happen, so I'm just going to use this spot on Sunday to write out a gratitude list. So I have this little things sticker and I'm going to write some things in here right now, like my home, days off, and tapping or EFT. Now this sticker is really tiny, so I'm going to show you up close, but I'm just going to go grocery shopping on Saturday for the next week's Raw Vegan Challenge. Look at that, darling. We made it to the end of this planning video. I'm going to quickly show you some of the stickers from the kit that I will likely use um, throughout the week. So we have the little heart and the grocery shopping sticker, laundry, cleaning, taking out the trash, um, journaling or planning. I'll definitely use that sticker. It just depends which day I decide to do it. I'll use a lot of the to clean and to do stickers and more of the little heart checklists. Normally I use all of these today stickers and some more little things. I'll likely use the night out, lazy day, day date, and deep clean, and I will definitely use the canceled or rescheduled because things change all the time, as much as we may try to plan our lives. So here we are. This is the planned week in my life. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely love this sticker kit. Again, like I said, I will link her and her Etsy shop down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my blog. All of the links are right here. As always, I love you.